Hello friends, today we have altogether different types of presentation which I feel uh, is different from what I presented and what I uploaded in the YouTube. Uh, this is about low cost, so I try to give it uh, a go for you and uh, you'll find that this is different uh, from, you know, very, uh, I put some uh, good things about this in fact. So the presentation is locust, locust, and locust. So what are they really? And um, you know, what are locust? And the locust are collection of certain species of sort and grasshoppers in family accredited that have a swarming phase. Means they're in groups, they you know, and they move in groups that the swarming phase and size could be seven millimeter to 70 millimeter or seven centimeters can be uh, you know it's variable it, it is uh, it can be even smaller than that within this range and these insects are usually solitary you know they feed in solitary but under certain circumstances they become more abundant and change their behavior and habits and be becoming gregarious that means they they love to be in group under certain circumstances suppose there is dry period or prolonged dry period followed by heavy rains and help in making the earth green and um, abundant foods are available for them then that period they become you know they start socializing and become friends with each other and start moving in groups and uh, and they start breeding and um, you get large number of insects we call them locusts so I'll look at there are different types of locusts and as you can see that those are the figures, those are pictures. I put their different colors, the red, green, yellow, brown, and you know, there are types, you know, different types. These are locusts that actually what in India, you know, recently in India, it's still going on. It is there in India now. And red locust, migratory locust. Australia plague locust, Rocky Mountain American, Bombay, Brown, South American, Italian, Chinese, Central American. There are different kinds of locusts, you know, you name it, you name it, there are large number types. So uh, actually in this presentation, I want to present some facts actually really don't know. So I collected some of the facts about locusts and present before you. Do you know what animals eat locust because they eat the locusts are very much, you know, a different kind of insect. Because everything looks green for them and eat and really make them feel barren and are devoid of greens. But locust bird that eat locusts and locust bird any uh, of you know various African birds that eat grasshoppers and locusts, especially the black winged fretting call. You know that's actually the one that eat locust and in India the rose colored starling is called locust bird. It eats locust. So that means there are certain type of animal birds they eat locust. And, and, and another question you may have in your mind do locusts drink water? Because they move from you know they cover hundreds of thousands of kilometers on their way and they pass through different countries and different agricultural region, different agricultural system, different climate zones, different types of, uh, you know, starting from humid, subhumid, dry, semi-dry, semi-arid, arid environments. So do they really need water? Actually, when feeding on fresh grass that contains 85% water, locust often resist to cannibalism to obtain water because they get enough water from the grass still they resort to cannibalism, they eat their, their friends, their own species, so to obtain water. Yet, locust fed on the same dry food and give given water to drink, they can drink water if you give them and grow normally. Can you eat locust swarm? So are locust edible? Yes, locusts are edible and rich source of protein. But experts say and advise them against eating them as they, ha they might have been sprayed with pesticides because, you know, they come in large numbers and people, the farmers, and, you know, they start spraying different kinds of pesticides which are really harmful to human beings. And 
So it is better to know, or better not to eat locust, and because they might have been spread with pesticide as part of control measures. So do they bite people? Because they are large in numbers, we are afraid of, you know, having seen such large number of you know, crowd of locusts, swarm of, just like caterpillars, swarm of locusts, but they don't bite. Otherwise, think of if they come in thousands and bite, start biting people, then it could have been a different story altogether by now. So what caused locust plague? So swarming behavior and overcrowding of locusts is, is known as locust plague. Increasing level, level of serotonin, a kind of substance that actually makes them get more socializing, they start uh, breeding, breeding and, um, and become socializing and, and uh, start playing eggs. And uh, that's all they form a group and in large numbers they start moving, that we call swarm. And this causes the locust to change color, eat much more. That means when this locust behavior is plaguing, and they make them change their behavior, the color, they eat, start eat more and breed much more easily. That means they, they go to, they move to a different, maybe in seventh heaven, they start breeding and they start socializing, you can say, become gregarious. So do locusts carry diseases? Locusts don't attack people or animals. So there is no evidence that suggests that locusts carry diseases. Otherwise, in the presence of COVID era, when you large number of locusts are there or in your backyard, what do you think? <laughs> they may harm animals and birds or even human beings, but nothing such things happened. There were no evidence. So, thank God we are safe. But you never know when that may happen, if they may carry. But how many months does locust plague last? Normally five months, it's been, and it is a locust swarm dangerous? Of course, they are dangerous, though, even though I told you that don't carry diseases and don't attack humans, don't start biting. But eventually, when they start moving in swarm, a large number of locusts are present. In, in a, it is, you know, found that one square kilometer locust swarm can eat the same amount of food in a day, about 30,000 people. Can you think what type of damage, the extent of damage they cause? They cause and if they can eat the food of 35,000 people, that means they're making 35,000 people hunger in a day. That means that number of locusts present in a square kilometer. The desert locust is potentially the most dangerous one that actually India is passing through that space. The locust pest because the ability of swarms to fly rapidly across great distances. That means they are fast runner, no? they can fly. So it has two to five generations per year. So if the swarm lasts five months, there will have definitely there are two and a half <laughs> generations in that life period. So what do locusts do to human? When environmental conditions produce many green plants and promote breeding, locusts can congregate into thick, mobile, ravenous swarms. Locust swarms devastate crops, they damage crops, definitely. Yes, they see anything green, they eat and make it barren, so causing huge, you know, large scale damage to the agricultural field and definitely adding misery to the human being and just cause starvation and famine. So definitely they are not helpful to human, even if the human being eats them as delicacies in many countries, but still they are not good to human. And what color of locust? You know, they are, you know, just like rainbow, they have different colors. In a migrated locust, you find the living populations that typically display green, green colors. But while they become more sociable, or gregarious condition, they start changing their colors, are living in large swamps and develop a striking pattern of black, brown, yellow. You can see they are not a single color, even they, they are solitary, they are single. When they start socializing and start love making and you know and uh, start breeding and that time you look at these colors of those locusts and they are different colors so so they don't have a single color when they are solitary it's probably they're green or something like that but not really they are so colorful in fact 
So are locusts good for anything? Of course they are good for something, though the damage they cause is enormous to the human being and to the agriculture field. But locusts are large insects and convenient for use in research. Of course, in research they are very much useful as specimen in a zoology lab, maybe in entomology lab, and the study of zoology in the classroom. So they are edible insects? Of course they are edible and they are a high source of protein, maybe 65% protein they are in the insect and they are considered to be delicate in many countries, maybe Southeast Asian countries and many countries they, you know, you'll find uh, this type of, you know, insects are uh, delicate, though not many countries, but some of the countries then you'll find them as good number of people eating locusts. And are locusts and cricket the same? Locusts belong to the same order as that of grasshoppers and crickets are orthoptera, so so they, they, are, they belong to the same order, but they look different. Their food habits are different. So look at this picture. This is grasshopper and this is cricket. So do you have any idea what does attract locust? When, think example of a desert locust. When desert locust meet, the nervous system releases serotonin, a kind of substance which causes them to become mutually attracted and some type of, you can say, hormonal secretions written in that make them mutually attracted. That's speed requisite for swimming, swarming, and thus they increase large number of by process of breeding. Look at this. So the, the increase in serotonin le level, the smell and sight of other locusts and the hind legs being touched, they start, you know, they start profuse breeding and you can see, due to their gregarious behavior, the number of locusts increases. So, how quickly the locusts grow? I said they can be as, as, as long as 7 centimeters or 700 mil, uh, 70 millimeters. The life cycle of locusts usually comprises of three stages, egg, nymph, and swarm, or you can say egg, hopper, and adult. Each hatch is about, egg hatch, sorry, egg hatch, is about two weeks, the range from 10 to 65 days. Hoppers develop five to six stages over a period of around 30 to 40 days, and adult mature in about two weeks to nine months, but more frequently from two to four months. This is what actual different stages of development of locust and their size also starting from you know 30 millimeter to 45 millimeter, even I mentioned earlier, it is 70 millimeter. So these are some of the facts and some more facts there. How do locusts behave? In solitary phase, low numbers and densities, locusts behave as individuals. They don't bother about who are present, you know, they don't bother about their neighbors. Much like grasshoppers, they eat themselves and live happily. But in gregarious phase, they form dense and highly mobile marching band of hoppers and flying swarms and adult winged locusts, which behave as an entity. And they start feeding large green plants, agricultural fields, and becomes aggressive. So, how far locusts can fly? It's not surprise that there's a locust what you find in India is from East African countries, and they are passing through the Indian Ocean, as Arabian Peninsula, with Pakistan, Afghanistan, then to India. So they can, you know, really fly thousands of kilometers. So locusts won't fly with the wind as roughly the same speed of wind. They can cover from 100 to 200 kilometers in a day. Can you imagine such a tiny insect can cover 100 to 200 kilometers in a day and will fly up to 2,000 meters above sea levels. So they don't quite care about the lowering of temperature as the altitude increases. Therefore, swamps cannot cross tall mountains ranges such as Atlas, the Hindu, you know, the Himalayas. So the, the desert locusts don't go to China, they stay in India, because they can go beyond two kilometers height in the flying. So that's what actually, ah, more, more things about locusts. Do they smell? They, they can they get smell? Smell helps them to keep the locusts together, definitely, yes. Scientists think that is, it is the smell of the fecal pellets that is important in maintaining swarms that the spelling behavior keep them closing or keep them close together.
So that's what can locusts fly over ocean? Of course, they, they can fly the same wind speed and roughly the speed of the wind. However, locust adult and swamps typically cross the Red Sea between Africa and the Arabian Peninsula and are even reported to have crossed Atlantic Ocean from Africa to Caribbean in 10 days during the year 1987 to 89. Like, can you believe this so tiny insect? Just like migratory birds, they can travel thousands of kilometers, can cross any ocean, has up to you, tiny insect locust. And how much locust can eat in a day? As I mentioned earlier, well, one in, you know, number of uh, locusts in one square kilometer can eat the food of 30,000 people. So a desert locust adult can consume roughly its own weight of in fresh food per day. And what about two grams? Actually, that's about two grams every day. A very small part of an average swarm, about one ton of locust eat the same amount of food one day as 10 elephants or 25 camels or 2,500 people. So think about how much they eat. That means that approximately or roughly their body weight. That much they eat per day. So thank you friends, that's different presentation from my side. Hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and have a great time.